In this tutorial, we will create an input form and an accompanying model object. Our sample input form would be to register or enroll a new insurance agent for a fictional insurance agency administration system. These are the step-by-steps that we will follow for registering or enrolling a new insurance agent. First, we will copy and reuse our Hello World project. Second, we will create the insurance agent model object. Third, we will create the insurance agent enrollment form. Fourth, we will create a new action class that will enroll the insurance agent. Fifth, we will create the new response JSP or the confirmation JSP. And finally, we will create a mapping in our strats.xml configuration file to couple the action to the input and output view. So let's start with step one, copying and renaming and reconfiguring our existing strats2 hello world example. Let's make sure it still works. It looks good. Now we are ready for the next step, which is creating the insurance agent model object. So first we will create a new package. Now we will create a new agent model object. We'll add a serializable and a clonable interface. Finish. Now we will add the actual members. We're going to use Eclipse to generate the getters and setters for us, as well as some of the constructors we will be needing. We'll also add a two string for debugging purposes. Just move it down. And that's it. That's our insurance agent object that we're going to register into our new insurance administration system. Now the next step is to create the input form for collecting the insurance agent information fields. So we'll go down to web contents. We, we will create a new folder and a new form inside the folder. And previously we had hello world. We will now do an insurance agent folder. And inside the insurance agent folder, we will create the register JSP. First, we're going to need the struts to tag library, and we're going to change our character set and page encoding to UTF-8. Title will be enroll a new insurance agent. Now we will include the form and the header in our body to connect the form to a specific instance of an insurance agent. We're going to use the agent bean concept. And we'll see the threads to form we'll call the action register, which we will write later on. And we will define it in our struts.xml. So for now, we're just going to use text field. Later on, when we actually do our full or create read update demonstration, we will use a drop down and a checkbox as well. And this is our complete form. So now we can move on and create our action class. 
To create the action class, we're going to create a new package and create our action class register inside our new package. All we will need is the execute method. Here we are going to define our agent P, generate our getters and setters. And for now, we're not going to have any logic in our execute, which is going to return a success. In an actual application, this is where we will call the backend services. Now that we've completed the action class, we've got to write the JSP that it would forward to. So we'll go back to our insurance agent folder. And we'll write a thank you.jsp. And here once again we need our tags and we're going to use the UTF character set. Enrollment successful. Here we're just going to display the agent bean as it was entered into the form. So the next step now would be to map everything in our Struts XML configuration file. And since we're going to use a package name of insurance agent, we will need to create a new package in our configuration file. So we will do that in our insurance action package. So we'll just copy and paste our hello world detail in here. Change the package name and namespace. We're going to use our register action. So our action name will be register and let's see, it's going to call the insurance action register class on execute method and on success it will forward to thank you.jsp. Of course on the landing page we need a way to get to our register page. So let's go back to our menu page. And here we will have to forward to our register.jsp. Of course, we've defined the URL pass through action, but we still need to go back to our struts XML and include it. So that should give us our insurance agent enroll action that forwards to register.jsp. We need to add to our context path as well. We're looking at our hello world. Okay, and at this stage it looks like everything is ready. Let's see if it works the first time or if we missed something and we need to go back and fix it. We obviously missed the name tag of hello world, which is shared insurance register. So let's go back and fix that. Now let's try again. Enroll insurance agents. Oops. There is no action mapped for the namespace and the action name associated with context path. So we need to fix our context path. Ah. So can you guess what we forgot? We defined an insurance XML, but we did not include it in our struts.xml. So let's hope that's our problem. Let's see if we get any further after including the insurance XML in our struts XML. Holding thumbs.
Okay, let's try and fix it by looking at the capitalization in our action. We have a lowercase insurance agent in role and an uppercase in role in menu.jsp. But we actually have an uppercase insurance agent, package name and namespace. And we have a lowercase in the role. So let's change that over in our menu.jsp. Let's try and run it again. Now that looks much better. Let's see what happens if we enter some information here. So hit submit and excellent. It comes back displaying the two string of the agent bean for us, which shows that our background magic through the struts interceptors in our struts default layer has brought the agent bean from our input form to our output form. So now it's time to review. So let's look at our action. We see here that we have what is called a model backed object that through the magic of the struts layer of interceptor get forward to us where in our hello world example we actually just use plain java beans that was included in our hello world class so we had a name and a custom greeting and we also used the message store whereas in register we use the agent bean and the agent is a full java model object now the stress action also supports a model driven view which you can use to transfer views from form to your backend this concludes our form processing tutorial i'll see you in the next video